Hi everyone, today is a video that I never wanted to make. It's unfortunately transpired that Kentaro Miura died on May 6th, 2021 due to acute aortic dissection. And I think the most touching part of all of this is the massive community. Berserk is a series about getting past bad times in life really, and it's filled with really uplifting moments and it's really nice to see that the community has taken that to heart so much and it's crazy to see the outpouring of love that everyone has. It's really hard to put into words how unique and fantastic a mangaka Kentaro Miura was. It just speaks to the level of love and admiration the community has for what he created and how unique it all was. I literally wouldn't be here if not for Berserk because honestly, from the get-go, I only ever wanted to talk about why this amazing series is so amazing. And I realize now that the future of Berserk videos that I had been making were kind of inappropriate, really. I've genuinely come from that to today with a newfound respect for mangaka who take as much time as they need and honestly need to look after themselves. Even ending as it has, Berserk is such a beautiful story. It's still taught so many people the value of moving forward in life. It just really sucks that it had to be this soon. You know, I talked about Duranki a lot, and I talked about some choices with Berserk a lot, but honestly, and I think it rings true through what all of his colleagues said about him, is that he's just a man who wanted to have fun, and did. He made the series he wanted to make in a groundbreaking way. Some people uh, link that to what Guts once said about how that one soldier must have died happy because he lived doing what he loved right until the end. And I actually think that does ring true. One of Miura's favorite series was Gwyn Saga, this novel franchise written by Kaoru Kurimoto. And they died on May 26, 2009 at the age of 56. Miura once compared himself to Kurimoto. And I don't remember the exact interview, but I remember something along the lines of he'll continue writing Berserk and instead of rushing to an ending, he wanted to leave a legacy similar to that of Gwyn Saga. And, well, he's certainly done it. But it really does, again, speak to the kind of fiction that Miura wrote about and kind of lived to write about. It's a horrible topic, but I think we have literally just seen the end of a legacy. A really, really important legacy in the world of manga. In the world of fiction. And I think that's really incredible. You know, whenever a Berserk chapter came out, that was the center of attention. It was never about the hiatus, it was never about... It was never about anything negative. Every single time Miura came out with something, it swept up all of the fans. And that is so unique as both a series and a manga author. And yeah, I genuinely don't think we'll see the likes of that in the same way that Berserk enraptured us all ever again. And that's sad, but it's so impressive and so fantastic. Obviously, there'll be discussions of potentially continuing Berserk, and I realize the kind of depressing irony of my last Q&A video addressing some of my thoughts on this. Either way, my thoughts remain the same. There probably will be an attempt to continue the series, but honestly, I think it would be out of tribute and tribute alone. And that's kind of why I wanted to make this video because the title, as you can all see, The End of Berserk, it is an end to Berserk as we know it. And it is an end to a glorious career. And I think his career should be celebrated and tributed, maybe with something like that. But yeah, that is the end of Berserk. I think that is the ultimate acceptance, really, that this was something really special. So again, thank you for watching any Berserk content, talking about Berserk content, being part of that Berserk community, because that really is kind of a testament to it all. I'm so glad that Guts and Casca, at the very least, got to meet with Casca's sanity restored, one last time, drawn, illustrated, and everything by Kentaro Miura. One last time. Thank you for everything, Kentaro Miura. Rest in peace.